Hey everybody, how's it going? Joe's Neon here. Hey, listen folks, it feels good to check in. I just wanted to give you folks an update what I've been up to. I'm really sorry about my absence. I apologize for that. Um, things have been kind of hectic. Um, and, you know, to be honest with you, I really just haven't felt it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just kind of go into a thing where I didn't really feel like making videos. Um, but I've had a lot of projects going on and stuff like that. And I want to share them with you guys. And I'm going to be doing that in some upcoming videos. Um, still working on how I'm going to bring back Shop Talk. Uh, but I, I, I promised you guys I was going to do it. And, and I will. I promise I will do that. Um, but uh, everything is good. Um, we're, we're in the late fall here. Early winter. It's the 1st of December today. So, um, you know... Uh, Hunting has not been good. Um, we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of ill weather. My trip out to Rochester this year was a wash and a half. We got out there, it was 76 degrees. I hung my tree when it was, or hung my tree, hung my stand. The night before opening day, it was 74 degrees when I hung my stand. So um, nothing was going on at all for the whole entire opening weekend. And then we've got, we got snow uh, opening day. It started out at 58 degrees in the morning. And then that evening, cold front came through and we got snow. No animals were moving. There were no shots in the area. It was just, it was a wash. We didn't even see anything. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's what was up with the uh, opening of deer season this year. So I've been out a couple times since. I've seen some deer. I haven't been able to get a shot, but um, hopefully I'll bring the camera with me a little bit more often. But hey, folks, I'm 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 gonna be working on this little project here. Sorry about the traffic going by out front, but I'm out in the garage. I'm gonna be working on this little project here, and I just wanted to show you folks. Uh, I recently purchased. Um, an S-Wing uh, Camp X. It's a 12-inch Camp X. You know, it's your your classic design of an S-Wing. Made in the United States of America with the leather handle, you know. And now they've got to put in uh, like a Cordura sheath on them. Uh, this, this sheath is actually pretty darn good. Um, I'm surprised it's lined with a, with a thick plastic and you know if you're worried about a leather sheath getting wet not a bad way to go I'm definitely gonna keep this sheath um, but I'm really not happy with the hatchet whatsoever <laughs> S-Twin come on people you put made in, in the USA right there really this handle on this thing is the size of a kibasa. It's so fat and huge. Can you see that? Come on. You know why it's that fat? Because in order to slender it down like they used to, it takes time on a belt sander to sand the leather down and make a nice handle. We don't have time anymore in America, right? Huh, come on, people. The fit and the finish on the sanding on the steel is terrible. Can you see that? The pole is off. The pole isn't even square. See that? Right? Look at this band right here of the... Um, layers in the, in the leather. See how off that is? Totally crooked like this. I mean, look at, look at that in there. Now the blade is good. The grind is okay. It's dull as, it's dull as, I'm not even going to put tape on it while I'm working on this thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the handle down to where it should be. Then I'll be able to treat it with open offs, which will be nice. Um, and I'm going to try and clean up some of the steel. Uh, I mean, the, the, 
the grind line on this side is good. See that? You know how an S-wing is, folks, you know? You get that nice center line down the tang. Look at this side. Junk. So I'm going to clean all this up and uh, shoot a little video of me doing it. So stick around. Check it out. Good to see you, folks. All right, folks, what I got here is I've got my uh, my little 1x30 set up with some 120 grit, nice fresh belt. Um, I'm going to go at it, and um, I'm going to start bringing this handle down to where it should be. Uh, that's just disgusting. I, I, come on. Look at that. Do you remember when these handles just were the sweetest thing you ever wrapped your hand around? All right, here we go. All right, folks, here's where we're at um, after running the 120. As you can see, I, I, come on. This is what they're supposed to look like. Okay, yes, I'm cleaning up the steel. I'm taking some steel away, and I'm going to continue to do that. Um, but the handle is coming down nice, and I'm pleased with it. But you see how I got it a little bit wider here, and then it comes down into a nice waist. You know, nice here, nice waist. There was no definition. It was a big old hunk of kibasa, like I said. All right, let's keep moving on. I think I'm going to go to uh, 180 from here. All right, folks, so here we are. Um, you can really tell that I've taken a lot of material off of that handle. It, it just, it's really feeling nice. I've cleaned up a lot of the steel too. I cleaned up the pole. Um, she's coming along really nice. She's going to survive, but it's a rotten shame that I have to go through this process to make this a nice tool that it used to be. Anyhow, uh, I'm down to what uh, 600 grit here. This is going to be the last grit that I'm going to run, um, but I wanted to uh, put you right on my head and take you along with me here. So let's turn on the Duff's collection. And the grinder! Here's what we got going on. We're done out in the garage with the one by 30. We went right up to 600 grit. Um, that might have been a little bit too, too fine for finishing because I got some scratches I'm gonna have to go back out and take, you know. But I just wanna show you where we're at with this now. Okay? All right. I love the way Buck and Billy Ray, if you guys, uh, if you guys haven't gone over and checked out Buck and Billy Ray Smith's channel, you're missing out huge. Go to Buck and Billy Ray Smith's channel and check him out, especially if you like axes, if you like the outdoors, if you like cutting trees and cutting wood, and if you like a person with a really beautiful spirit, go see this man. Go check him out. He's awesome. But anyhow, um, 
Yeah, he calls it the, uh, what's he call it, the fit and finish? No, not the fit and finish. I don't know. I'll have to check it out, or you guys can go check it out. But anyhow, look at this thing's looking a whole lot better. Isn't that, you see all them rough edges and stuff are all gone now off that? Look at that handle. Look at how much thinner that handle is. Look at the shape. See that? That feels so nice in the hand now. And that's the way it should be. I shouldn't have to bring this thing home and, you know, have to finish it. I didn't know my S-Wing hatchet was going to be a kit project. Well, anyhow, folks, here we got the Obanoffs. I just want to show you how pretty this is when you, when you really just start rubbing in that Obanoffs. And then what we're going to do is take a uh, hair dryer to it and just really heat it in and keep giving it coats. Fitmanship. That's what Buckin calls it. Fitmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do your own fitmanship. Come on. Didn't used to be that way. Why's it got to be that way now? You see that? Isn't that beautiful? We're just going to keep running this stuff all the way around it. I, I, you know, I really think that I like um, this finish on these handles better than I like the factory lacquer finish. Boy, that lacquer finish in warm weather gets scary. If you don't wear gloves, that thing will come right out of your hand. I don't care if it's an axe or a hatchet or a hammer. Yeah. Um, I really like uh, I really like using the Obanoffs. Look at that! Look at that! You see that? Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, folks. Listen, I just wanted to shoot a little video here, just to say hey, let you know that everything is cool. Um, you know, but I had stuff going on, and I I just really wasn't. I really wasn't feeling it, you know, and I think if you're going to make some quality, you know, um, content for folks to watch, I think you better be in the mood to do it, you know, and, and, and want to do it so that you put out a decent video. And I hope that's what I did. And it's so good to see everybody. Oh, man, I've been watching your videos. All you guys know that I watch all your videos. I don't always comment, but you know, I'm there. You know I'm there. But yeah, I'd really appreciate it, folks. If you guys if you guys go over and check out Buckin' Billy Ray Smith. Hey, and you know what too? You gotta go check out his mom's band. His mother just turned 72 years old and she's a rock and roll granny. Her the name of her band is Band from Glad. Punch it in on YouTube and check it out and subscribe you're gonna dig it they got all kinds of new music coming out this is some homegrown music folks this is this is made in the garage music it's beautiful you guys are gonna love it go check out band from glad and please go and see buck and billy ray smith and subscribe to him and let him know that joe's neon sent you right on huh so listen folks i'm really happy now with this little last swing, you know, I've always wanted one and, and I, I, I never had one. So finally I said, you know what, for 30 bucks, I'm going to grab one. And I did. And I did it mail order. And when I opened the package, I was really disappointed. I was really, 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 really disappointed. But I knew I could make it better. And I have, folks. So I got my little S-Wing now, and I love it. I'm gonna continue putting coats of 
open offs here on the handle. Going to heat it up a little bit, get it soaked in. Um, going down to Legion tonight to shoot darts. I hope everybody out there is absolutely super and um, look forward to some some more footage from me. I promise. Um, like I said, I'm still working on some details for a new shop talk, but uh, um, I've had a lot of projects going on and I got a lot of stuff to a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to show you guys. So hey, everybody, have a great evening, and I'll be in touch with you real soon. Thanks so much for watching.